Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your butt. That's my daughter and her boyfriend's um, Doberman crying for my attention. He wants to play, but I want to make a real quick video. Got to start making some content again real quick. Uh, I'm going to show off some Mickey Mantle, you know, kind of oddball stuff, I guess. Like this little bronze card. Bronze or brass, whatever it is. Um... I never really knew about it and I actually just kind of saw some information about these. I saw a uh, Jackie Robinson like this posted and the guy put some information said that these were given to deal to dealers. Uh, like when they bought um, boxes of cards to retailers and stuff or card shops, whatever it was. And they would give these to the dealers. But I got this off for an ice cream truck. Um, my cousin bought the last pack and then I wanted to buy baseball cards and I <laughs> Kind of started crying. I was a little kid. And the ice cream truck uh, driver offered me this. He said, hey, I got this. And it was in like a little plastic thing. And I kept it in the plastic for a long time. But then somebody like told me I had to open it. And I opened it and I kept it in my wallet for years. I would take it to school in junior high and high school. And I would polish it up in metal class all the time. <laughs> like, Where's the dent? I put a dent in it. Like one time I was polishing it. Where is it at? I can't even see it. Oh, well, but believe me, I put a big dent in it. I think it's right here. But I was polishing it, and then the buffer of the wheel just, bam, knocked it off my hands and flew around. It only got one big nick on it. But yeah, man, um, this is what introduced me to Mickey Mantle. Before that, I had no idea who he was, and um, that's how he became my hobby favorite since I was a kid. It was because of this item right here. All right, then we see I got this little stamp. I don't know too much about it, but it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, I got a memory right now. There's this guy I used to work with that we hired when I used to work at Big League Dreams. And we have uh, replica so uh, softball fields or baseball fields, and one of them was Yankee Stadium. So I'm looking at the facade here. This one dude, he was, uh, we hired him, and he had just came out of prison, and uh, he was like this big gangster dude, and one day he was edging on the outfield uh, at the replica Yankee Stadium, and I seen him from far away, and he was on the floor, like holding his head, I was like, what's going on, I go over there, I thought he was crying, and apparently he said he was having like a LSD acid flashback, he's like, I haven't done it in years, but I'm having a flashback, it just happens, he said, I think it was a vibrating from the edger, the edger machine. But he was saying that the whole facade, because we had like, it was a replica stadium. And it had the facade all the way around. And he said that it was just melting like a candle, nonstop, just dripping. Like the facades were dripping, like candle wax melting. <laughs> it was a trip. And then I got this that I got from Nate. Uh, I can't really remember exactly where these came from. But I put that Kotex thing on there. But I do think it was Nate who gave me this. And thanks a lot, man. Love this. I keep this in uh, my drawer with all my oversized, car oversized cards. But this is sweet. I love this. A lot of reminiscing of that 69 kind of little circle. Uh, like this card, I, I showed it on our stream. And also, same thing. I just got some information from that stream. Somebody posted exactly where I cut this out from. Because I was just saying, like, the thing is that I don't like to open them. Like, I could open it and find out and look at the back. And it probably has the information. But I have this Willie McGee in the back. So I can't see the back of the card. But I like to keep things the way they were. I don't like to mess with them. So this thing has been sealed since I sealed it. And this thing, this card has been in my living room. Uh, well, not, not anymore. It's in my card room now. But since, I mean, since I met my wife and we got our first apartment... Uh, I had this in our living room on the bookshelf. Like I was allowed to have one one shelf on the bookshelf. And I had my Mickey Mantle cards and a bunch of 69 um, Camaro uh, die cast cards. Because that was my dream card at the time. But yeah man I had this on my shelf forever. And some dude posted and I was like I don't know if I got it from a... You know, I was telling him I go back then baseball magazines. They would always have these cards that you would cut out inside of them. I said, I don't remember exactly where I cut this out from because I can't, and I can't tell you 
because it doesn't say in the bag. I said, and I'm cool with that. I don't care, you know. Um, and he told me exactly where these were from. So you can check the, on that stream. And I got this uh, Mickey Mantle autographed baseball. I wish I, I, I probably still have the original um, case this came in. It came in one of those old cases. Uh, but, you know, I got this for 200 bucks a while back uh, from Sadu when his dad passed away. And this was his dad's. And it had the original casing. And the casing was kind of ugly. And when I showed um, some guy at Frankenstein's that sell these, he's like, oh, you should put it in one of these. And he gave me this for five bucks. And so I just kind of switched it. And I kind of wish I kept it in the original case. Might move it back, actually, uh, to the original case. I got this little switch hitting. Look at that. Left-handed. And then hitting right-handed. The best switch hitter ever, Mickey Mantle. I, I got this at a car shop. It was only a couple bucks. Uh, one of my favorite um, things is the bobblehead of him winning the Triple Crown. I, I wanted this for a long time, but since I don't shop online, you know, like I never came across it. And then I came across it and I had to have it. It wasn't even expensive. I think I got it for like 15 bucks. Uh, and then I got this. I think I got this from Picker GMS. Believe me, guys been on youtube for like eight ten years i've gotten thousands of care packages it seems like over that span so everyone's hard you're gonna forget you know who gave you what but i think i got this for picker gms it's a postcard because they never i've obviously never had a red man and this is just like a recreation of what it would like what it would look like if mickey Mantle had one but pretty sweet and like i said i don't shop online so every once in a while when i see something that's people show me and i can't find it anywhere uh i'll ask my wife or my daughter to get it to me for christmas because they shop online so told my wife about it and i got this for christmas and obviously she bought it online so it's kind of cheating but i can still say i've never bought online uh, yeah this is a a record that apparently you could actually play but sweet so okay <laughs> i gotta Play with the, my doggies because they're just begging for attention. You got to give them some love, all right? You got to keep that balance between your hobby, your family, and your pets, all right? Love a hobby. Just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I said. Chill. Let me show you my doggie. Oh, you want to play Mary Jane? You want to play Mary Jane? Okay, we'll play. <laughs> 